Stop right there. If you haven't seen Multiverse of Madness, do not watch the rest of this video. I go into spoilers. Don't watch it. You have been warned. We're in my car today because I just filmed something for a different video. I got hella videos coming out. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for clicking this video. If you're interested in the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness conversation, here you are, here we are. Let's get straight into it. I'm not one to hate Marvel movies. I love Marvel movies. And if you've known me at all in real life, you'll know that I'm a fucking Marvel nut. I don't need to prove my veteranship of, of Marvel over here. Got some mixed feelings. The feelings are mixed about this movie here. I wanted to love it. I was a bit hyped about it, to be honest. And my expectations weren't that high, mostly because I don't know everybody in this movie. After doing a bit of research, I understand the Illuminati a little bit. I understand America Chavez's abilities. I am I understand Doctor Strange's abilities to some extent and a little bit of Wanda's. I've seen WandaVision, I've seen all the properties, whatever. Even though I've seen all these different properties as far as like Marvel goes and I'm tied into the lore, I get it and I'm pretty locked in. It just didn't feel like a good, well-rounded Marvel movie for whatever reason. It just felt a bit like the stakes were supposed to be high nobody felt in danger at all it didn't feel like any sort of urgency for whatever reason just felt a bit empty and although the multiverse opens up so many different possibilities to some extent i feel like because of all of these possibilities none of them really matter it's like the infinite finite problem it's like once you get to god level eh, you kind of don't care about the person or the thing anymore because they're Superman. They're never going to die. So you have to implement some sort of kryptonite that's going to weaken them, have some sort of stakes. Now you have something to worry about. Doctor Strange does something that is literally forbidden. And all of the things that come with that forbidden title start to happen. And then somebody in that movie says, just do it with magic. And Doctor Strange is like, Mm, you're right. You're right. And does it with magic. Fixes it with magic. Literally something that is cursed. He fixes and uses to his advantage with magic. Bit much of an overreach, I think. It felt a bit mixed bag as far as what its main issue was. I get that the overall arcing was like the whole America Chavez trying to save her thing, but you didn't feel like she was really in danger and also the way in which they kind of fixed her as far as her being able to control her abilities was dog shit are you kidding me literally was the equivalent of somebody just being like believe in yourself and that working it felt a bit scapegoaty i actually think this movie would be better watched not on a big screen the fact that everything is so crazy the effects are amazing and um, i don't want to underplay this movie too too much because obviously i think it is going to tie into a bigger thing and be more important later we just don't know why yet i think it will be and i think this movie is going to be a bit underrated later in the future once they kind of flesh it out a little bit more especially america chavez because she seems to be a character that's going to be really cool to explore and i'm really looking forward to any property that's going to have her and delve into her abilities a little bit more overall give this movie a solid five maybe five and a half i want to rewatch it on like a smaller screen because i do think the way that it was shot is a bit disorienting at least to me on a big screen and to see it on a smaller screen like a phone or just like my TV would be a little bit more enjoyable. I'm hoping that it ties into more things in the future so it does become a little bit better. Kind of like what the Spider-Man trilogy now has done in the Marvel Universe. The first and second one were pretty decent. Nothing really to write home about. But as soon as that third movie came out, it really tied everything together as far as his whole story arc and being able to see his progression. He didn't have the full responsibility of Spider-Man, but as soon as that third movie came out and you watched it, you realized his whole arc of becoming Spider-Man and now holding and wielding that power responsibly instead of just kind of as a kid with, with rose-colored glasses. So hopefully they do the same with Doctor Strange to some degree with, with the progression of the story in later movies. I also wanted to know your opinions. Do you agree with me, disagree with me, 
what is your rating 5.5 do you agree with me do you disagree let me know all in the comments down below thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace